What's up everybody? This is Chase Reeves and I've got the Air Flight Pack from Air brand new bag. Let's check it out. Chase Reeves reviews a bag. Chase Reeves reviews. Chase Reeves reviews. What's up guys? My name is Chase Reeves and I do in-depth reviews on bags to help you make good decisions on your bag purchases. And today we are looking at the Air Flight Pack, all right? Air, A-E-R, has a few other bags in the lineup that are good for daily carry, namely the Fit Pack 2.0, which I will show you in the later on in this video to compare it directly. But this Flight Pack bag is a daily carry bag, all right? What do we need from a daily carry bag? First of all, you need it to be the just right size. It's like, no, this bed's too big. And this bed's too small. This bag's just right. But that needs to be right for you, okay? So for me personally, I carry my laptop, an iPad, a water bottle, sometimes a book or a sweater, but that's it for my daily carry. You might have a bunch of dongles. You might be one of those dongle guys. You got a lot of tech dongles. Like I got my, where's my dongles? Oh, you know what? I have an adopter for that. If that's you and you need one of those, like you, then you might need a little more space or you might need a different setup or something like that. You know how you carry daily. I'm going to be showing you this bag and relating it to how I carry, but please watch this for obviously how you're going to carry the bag. That's, uh, that's your responsibility. You're a grown up. You can do that. This bag comes in at about 23 and a half liters, liters in bags. It's almost like pointless to say. It gives you a nice idea of it but like you know when you get who who like who uses liters really but for my money this is a great size for a daily carry bag second thing you need from a daily carry is organization and access you, can you organize all your stuff and can you access it easily this thing has that in spades third thing is how's the style is the style right for you this thing for me is a little like yeah, it's okay yeah it's a, it's like it's way better than it could be it's way better than than a lot of other bags i i wouldn't use but it's a little uh it's a little kenneth cole like it would look really good if you had like a black turtleneck on you'd look dope with this but the style's pretty good for fairly affordable bag at the time of making this video it's about 150 bucks so that's an affordable bag for the kind of quality you're gonna get in this I'll walk you through all the materials and things in a second but uh, style for that price and with these materials I'm like it gives it it's a solid it's like a solid B B plus like it's like don't worry about it if it's not an overachiever you know, it's not coming after class going like, how can I get my grade up? It's like, no, nah, this, that's fine. I'm good with a B plus. And then the last thing for daily carry I think you got to worry about is can it handle the weather that you need? For me, I live in the Pacific Northwest in Portland, Oregon, and we get a lot of rain. This thing's really water resistant. So no matter where you live, I think this thing's got you covered on the weather, on the water resistant part. Hey, oh, hey, oh. <laughs> Do you like this bag, Aiden? Look at, look at, oh, here, don't look over there. Don't look over there, look right here. What do you like about this bag? <laughs> Another cool thing about this bag is it has this like briefcase mode where you can use a strap, you can put the backpack straps away. So you could, if you need to like walk into a meeting with your black turtleneck on, you're like, I'm in a meeting mode now. You can do that. So I'll show you that in a second. <laughs> Okay, so if you're not already thinking about it, I think you need to be wondering, 150 bucks for this bag, is it going to last me? And the answer is a pretty solid yes for this guy. This is their gray 900D eco-dyed polyester exterior. All right, this is uh, their, their gray version. It also comes in a black version where it's a little actually more robust. On their duffel, the Air Duffel Pack 2.0, the video that I did of that, it's the same fabric. I actually like the fabric better on this because the duffel has this big wide webbing thing that goes down the middle. You don't really get these big patches of this material. I like this gray material quite a bit uh, when it's with these nice, it looks, it, I think it looks nice. If it was this much with the black, I think it, 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 the black is is more heavy duty. You should know that. It's a little more of a robust material. Both of them are water resistant and treated to be water resistant. So you could be in the rain and it, you won't have to worry about things. This though, I think might look, the pack might look better in this gray than in the black to me because the black gets a little bit shiny. But the point really is both these materials are very robust. They're solid. It's not like you're going into to Walmart or something like that and buying a bag that you're gonna get there where the zip 
zippers are gonna break and all that other crap within like six months of heavy duty use. This material itself is very, very solid. And then second of all, the zippers. The zippers are all really solid. YKK zippers, you can see this one, it's kind of weird. This one's the only one they put the water resistant, uh, <laughs> like rubberized thing on, which is a bummer because this top one is where you're gonna have a lot of water hitting. And this has a, a, it's not the same sort of rubber water resistant thing. It is sort of, you know, gusseted in some way. So, so some of those teeth are covered up with a material that's going to keep rain out, but not, as significantly, I think, as this uh, this one here. But, you know, it, well, I guess they did that for looks and also because this is a lot more expensive and this is a lot longer of a zipper. But all the zippers here are YKK. These guys are the big 10, I think. The big old chunky 10 YKK zipper with like, this is probably an eight up here on the quick access. Uh, the zippers are on point. By on point, I mean durable. They're YKK. They're good, solid durable zipper. And then finally, they use Duraflex plastic hardware. Now, this is the only place I think you feel the sort of, the, where, they're, where they're saving money on the bag. These guys are fine right here. I like these guys, really feels like a really solid, like, like solid hard plastic. I like that. It's down here. It's on these D-rings and these, uh, and the straps or the, the clippers for the straps, I mean. They feel, they feel really kind of cheap. They feel, they do. Not that, not that I don't actually think they're gonna break, to be honest, because this, even our cheapest plastic is pretty, pretty freaking strong. But this is the one area where it feels like, okay, that's a little bit of a, of a cheap quality. But what's nice about them is you could take them off and you could stow those straps. I'll show you that when we get into briefcase mode. The point being, that is the one area on this bag where I feel like I can feel the cheapness of it. Are they gonna last you a really long time? I think probably so, but uh, at the same time, like who, who knows? If that breaks, like you'd have to talk to air. They say they warrant their products for the practical lifetime of the product, and they're not very explicit on, on what that means on their warranty page, so, you know. It's warranted for the practical lifetime of the product. Uh, that's the one thing that I think is like, uh, materials that could have been a, a, a more solid feeling thing. I'll show you in the Manal Daily when I compare this to, to the Manal Daily bag later on in, in the video, that this is one of those places where a Manal Daily, a more expensive bag, will never like give you that kind of feeling. Where it's like, yeah, I hope this lasts. But all in all, I do give this thing another solid B, uh, B plus on materials because this is really, really strong material. All the zippers are really well done. The stitching, all that stuff looks great. It's just this one little part right here that I'm a little bit worried about for like, you know, if it's gonna last eight years. Okay, let's talk about what it's like to use. First, I wanna get into the back of the bag, these straps. They are, uh, they're fine. You're not gonna, you're not, you're not gonna complain about these things probably. They're just solid. The good thing is they have that contoured thing. Air's original bags, they didn't have a contour there and they can kind of pinch your neck a little bit. This goes around your neck and then hugs you down, uh, down, where, down where it matters. They don't have a sternum strap on this sucker. I haven't noticed that I missed it very much at all because the bag is kind of minimal. It's light, I don't have a lot of stuff in it. I don't really need the sternum strap. It's kind of nice that I don't have stuff dangling down here, you know? The mesh on the back is a little like, uh, yeah, it's like just fine. They got like a, a little air channel. Um, this, I, I, don't comp I don't complain at all because uh, it's just a tiny, it's a minimal bag. It's a very, you know, and this is one of those things that, again, maybe where you feel some of the cheapness of it. Um, very common to use mesh like this on the back of a bag. I wish that companies in these, in this more, in this price range would find a way to get something a little more breathable with that doesn't look too like, you know, <laughs> Polar Flex Ultimate Ridge Flow Air Design. Get the thing going. Like, I don't need it to look like an Austria. I don't need to look like I'm going to Kilimanjaro or something like that. Maybe a little update from this kind of mesh because it works okay. It's not, but it doesn't work that well. You'll get a little sweaty if you're going on a longer walk, but you know what? It's a, it's a fine bag for that. It's city travel. You're good. You're fine. You're good. Then we've got these handles on the bag. Some of my favorite handles ever. Love this. Just the webbing, really slick seatbelt style webbing with some padding on the inside about an inch about an inch wide uh, and they're great you have them on this side and 
the top of the bag. Those are awesome for just picking it up, throwing it around. I, you, you'd be amazed. You find you get used to one of these side handles or a nice handle on top. You'd be amazed at how uh, how difficult it is to like be with a bag that doesn't have like a nice handle. Like, what am I holding? So I like that they put a good handle on there. All right, let's get into the pockets. First things first, this outside front pocket. All right, inside of here you have a uh, a large sort of basically a boarding pass pocket. That's exactly what this thing's for uh, behind a divider. Then a divider strip and a couple big elastic undie things about the size of a MacBook charger, right? Which is great for that. And two little pen, uh, pen holders right there. This thing I don't end up using in my, in my daily carry. Uh, I use the pockets on the inside of the bag, so I only unzip that. Whenever I get someplace, I pull out my laptop, I'll grab my charger, I'll grab my my headphones or something like that. So it's all in one pocket for me. Um, but this is nice, it's a step up in organization. So if you need more organization with you, if you need a place for pens and extra stuff, if you, it, I love having a, a pocket like this, I can throw a, uh, 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 boarding pass into. I mean, I'm only I'm always ever boarding with my phone these days. But that's that's kind of nice. That pocket there is what you're basically one of your big ups over the Air Fit Pack. Again, I'm going to show you the next section comparing this bag to that Fit Pack. That's one of the things that we'll be looking at. They got a little quick access pocket on the top. Can't live without this sucker. Put my glasses and my headphones right in there. My phone when I'm checking in through security. Um, love that thing. That's like, you know, when you, once you get used to a quick access pocket in a bag, it's, it's hard to go back. I think there's some sort of saying about that. Something, once you've had, it's hard to go back. I think it's about, I think it's originally about a quick access pocket. It's about, what's that about again? Speaking of large cylinders, there's no water bottle pocket on the outside of this bag. There's no water bottle pocket on the inside of this bag. You either will travel without a water bottle or you will throw it into the main compartment. Luckily, there's plenty of room in the main compartment, but for those of you who are external water bottle people, that might be a bit of a deal breaker or you're gonna have to figure out a new way of rolling. So that's all for the outside of the bag and the quick access and everything. The only thing left is the inside of the bag. Let's get into there, my big old YKK number 10 zipper gets me access to the whole kit and caboodle first of all up on the top flap here i've got a little mesh pocket which is great for me because i can throw all of those things that i always keep in a bag that i never want to see i have two of these little uh pouches kind of like this ibuprofen chapstick headphone splitter extra pair of little tiny headphones because my wife just if we were going on a trip like she's never she's never brought her own headphones once dental floss in case you get like one of those pieces of steak or something cut it it's like the worst dongles got a couple dongles i got a stupid macbook pro with that's all all usb c because i gotta have a dongle with me that all goes into one of these bags and then i just put that down in there and i never have to worry about it because it just zips away in this mesh pocket Bada bing. I actually put a pen right there because uh, because they do have the pen holders up here in the front. I just put it right there because I'm only ever basically opening this pocket. That's it, quick access in this. And I like that. So I just throw it in there. I haven't had any problems with it at all. I use the, uh, by the way, one of my favorite pens, thanks to Mike Hurley, Retro 51 Tornado Pen. Mike gave me this pen and uh, I still use it to this day, Mike. You're a very good man. I appreciate you. You kidding me? Anything you need, you just ask me. You gave me a pen. You want I gave her my heart, she gave me a pen. Now, the capacity of this inner pocket, before I show you more of the pockets, it's just like, it's nice. You know, you could easily fit a water bottle, a sweat a sweatshirt, maybe even a, a much bigger jacket. You got a lot of space in there, all right? This 23, 23 and a half liters is, is not something to, to bat an eye at. I love this for daily carry stuff. Another place where this is more accessible than the uh, than the Air Fit Pack. Again, I'll show you that in a second. I like this main cavity and being able to get into here, have a lot of access to it, be able to zip it wide open. Oh, real nice. So then down here, you've got a couple elastic numbers, little undies pockets. I got perfect size for my charger, for my computer charger. You got a charger pocket, put it in the undie pocket. Love that. I love it when it's not flopping around. I, you know, the. The new ones, they 
don't have a thing to wrap the cord around, so your cords inevitably get crazy. So it's nice to just throw those into there. This one, uh, I've got my Alan Watts uh, biography, still reading it. So I'm just savoring it. He's like, I went to this party the other day, and of course I was, <laughs> like the usual, I was the smartest person there. It's unreal. How <laughs> are these people so idiotic all the time? He's such, he's such a, <laughs> He's such a twat, but I love him. Dude was deep, dude was deep. Alan Watts, I'm, he's cool with me. Just to show you though that these two uh, elastic pockets do their thing, you got a, uh, this is where I put my iPad in a, uh, a document pouch for my business papers. I got all my business papers on my iPad. Got my business papers in my iPad, man. And business papers. And then you got a laptop compartment, 15 inch laptop, fits a MacBook Pro, Alienware bros, I don't know. 15 inch, you're, you're used to this. If you carry one of those massive HP gateway computers, <laughs> that's like, has like a, a, has like a mouse pad built into it. I don't know, you're used to looking at like re researching, but this, my 15 inch MacBook Pro, any of those little sleeker Dells fits right in there perfectly. All right, so that's my inner pocket. Really easy to, to get around with. Lots of like, just what I need. Again, what is essential about a daily carry is it's the, just the right size for you. And this size is like just the right size for me. It's a slim, sleek, like look, but when you open it up, there's a lot of space. Now, I wanna talk about two other things that it does. Number one, it does this uh, uh, roller bag mode. You've got this thing that goes through the back of the bag here. You take your roller bag, right here's my handle on my roller bag, and I just slide that right on top, and it's not going anywhere. Hi kids, look, it's Mr. Baghand. Hi there, hope you're being nice to your parents. I don't know how that illustrates the roll bag capacity or carry feature of this bag, but you get the point. And then finally, the briefcase mode. These straps, they tuck away, all right, behind this padded sort of thing. And their goal here is that this thing looks kind of nice when you put these away. So behind the mesh is actually a, a kind of a, a rigid piece of, of plastic, a little bit thicker plastic. So it kind of keeps its form. So you can hold it by its handle and you've got no straps coming off. It's kind of nice, kind of looks nice. Then you've got these two D-rings here so you can go to briefcase mode. Let's check it out. I'm just grabbing a strap that I had lying around here so throw this on there and here's what we're working with this is what it looks like hey how you guys doing i'm uh i'm here uh i'm here to show you my architectures i'm doing my architectures here so it's a little more of a fancy look a little more of like a hey we're going to the we're going to the office we're going to the meeting and i don't want to show up like a kid with a backpack on the first day of school now i personally am always wearing my backpack around i don't have meetings like that I, i'm lucky that I was, I was able to start my own company and I don't have to do that kind of stuff. Um, so for those of you who like to have a good sleek bag and need that kind of functionality, that's pretty dope. So all in all, what's it like to use with all of that stuff? It is a delight as a daily carry bag. It's just solid. The materials are nice. The zippers are all nice. The organization is great. Exactly what I need and more. I don't even use this pocket on my daily carry stuff, but when I'm traveling, that's kind of nice. And then the access to all those pockets is very easy. It works nice. I'm really liking this bag. It feels like a very, very solid, solid, daily carry option. So what's it like to use? I give it a solid A plus on that. I'm going with the word solid a lot here. You feel the solidness of it? It's solid. A plus on what's it like to use. Okay, so here is the Air Fit Pack 2.0. Ultimately about the same size bag. What is different about it? First thing, the Air 2.0 has a shoe pocket down at the bottom. If you're a gym rat and you need shoes or if you ride your bike to work and you need to throw a pair of extra pair of shoes around and that like is really dope to you, you need that, this has got you covered. No shoe stuff in this one. However, our guy, the Flight Pack, does have more organization than the Fit Pack. However, for myself and my own personal needs, I still love the organization in the back of the Fit Pack. Again, you can check the video for this Fit Pack if you want to go deeper on this one. Uh, but the organization and it, more pockets, more organization here. I am fine with this amount over here, so it's not a deal breaker for me. The capacity, like I said, is just about the same, but the way that you access that capacity is different. Uh, this guy 
I like this guy a little bit more for I just have that one big pocket I can get into. Here, you've got all your organization on the back, and then you've got just this big, moofy, big pocket right here. Just a big old sunken, just like throw everything into there. I kind of like this mode a little bit more for my daily carry. I can get into the bag, I can see everything. I There's not a big zipper going down the middle of the bag. It's really nice, I prefer that honestly, on our flight back. And then finally, briefcase mode. This guy does briefcase mode, this guy does not. So that's how it compares to the Fitpack 2.0. Now this is the Manal Daily, one of my other favorite daily carry options. How does our Air Flight Pack compare to the Manal Daily? The first thing you're gonna notice is that everything's a little more quality on this guy. The feeling of all the zippers and peripherals and fabric, it just uh, like the density of the materials, it does, it, it does kind of add up. Like it feels definitely a little more quality over here than it does over here. This is a much more affordable bag, about $100 cheaper right now at the time of making this video. So there's a reason why they're using more significant, denser, better materials over here. If you like that kind of thing, I do. I don't mind paying that extra money to get that kind of thing for a, something I'm gonna use every single day if it makes me feel like, if it like fe actually feels more quality. But that's gonna be up to you. It'd be awesome if you could get your hands on both of these just to see what I mean with the feel. Cause the material on this and the big YKK zippers, those feel great. But all the other things, the straps, the back padding, the zipper poles, the organization on the inside, all of it feels a little more quality on the Manal Daily, I have to admit. But you are paying for that. Now, organization, there's definitely a different organization over here, okay? So you have a quick access pocket, which has another mesh pocket on the inside. Again, you can see the video I did on this bag to see all of this stuff, but I'll quickly walk through it. Um, you've got a larger compartment here that actually probably, it feels honestly like it has more room than this, but they're pro they're basically about the same. Uh, you have some pockets inside of here, some mesh and then a, a, a non mesh pocket that you can just keep hiding stuff in there and a little water bottle pocket on the inside of the bag. Capacity on this thing is, it's a small bag, both these guys. This one feels and looks smaller, but actually ends up packing just as much as this because the material is so thin, it just doesn't take up any space. Then the tech organization on this guy is a lot more robust, a little more just robust and, and it feels nicer. Nicer materials, get your iPad and your, and your uh, computer and your business papers. Your papers, your business papers with some organization in here as well. Ultimately to me about the same amount of organization, just differently configured. So it's up to you whether you like that more. I, I don't complain about the organization on this guy. It's got plenty of pockets and organization for me. This guy does have a rain cover that's built in on the bottom of the bag. There's a little zipper that uh, has a built in rain cover. So if you're, you know, delusion it in Southeast Asia and if that's a part of your life, like, I don't know. But I've never, I've never once pulled that out. Never. I've ridden my bike in the rain a bunch and I've never once pulled that out. Now, if I was actually riding my bike to work every day, rain or shine, then I'd be like, ooh, that's kind of a big deal to me. I really, it really would be. And this one has it. The flight pack does not. This is weather resistant. But if I was riding my bike to work for about 15 minutes and it was raining, I would not trust this thing in that weather at all. But walking through the streets and getting from cafe to home or something like that, that's fine. I don't mind that. And then they both do briefcase mode. That's kind of cool. They both do briefcase mode. Let's see what they look like compared to each other. Okay, so that's our Air Flight Pack. I love this bag. It's a great bag. If you don't have a good daily carry option and 150 bucks sounds about right to you, uh, this thing is killer because it's organization, it's access, and it's materials. The materials are not gonna let you down over time, except for maybe these little clippers down at the bottom but they do have a warranty that's over the practical lifetime of the bag. But all the other materials are super great. The organization is awesome and access to all those pockets is great. And then for me personally, it's the perfect size for a bag. The style is okay, 
way better than like, for example, like the a Tom Van Synapse or something like that, which is just total dad, dad bag mode. But I like the style of this bag enough to be like, all right, that's cool for 150 bucks, yeah. So that's the Air Flight Pack. Hopefully I made your decision purchase a little bit easier knowing which way to go. If you do purchase this bag, use the link below. I get a couple bucks back and that makes my wife so happy. I love making these videos for y'all. I do, I do. I just like making bags. I like looking at, <laughs> I like making videos. And I like talking about bags and I like shooting the shit. So hey, this works out pretty well. If you like that, give us a subscribe. We're building a channel here. Let's do it. Come with me. Who's coming with me? Who's coming with me? And other than that, if you'd like to know a little bit more about me, I have a podcast called The Fizzle Show, where we talk about indie entrepreneurship and things that are interesting to independent business builders, people who are earning a living doing something that they care about. Uh, that is called Fizzle Show. You can find it at fizzleshow.co and my business, fizzle.co, the community of entrepreneurs who won't let you quit. I appreciate y'all for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.